what happens when motorcycle clubs from all over the United States converge on Lafayette, Louisiana? We take over. What's up, people? It's GQ, the leader of the Peace Army, and today I'm taking a short two-hour hop to Lafayette, Louisiana to hang out with and support my brothers from Next Level Motorcycle Club on their inaugural anniversary party. And even though traffic was crazy, it's another time for me to experience and take part in what I signed up for, and that's to ride my motorcycle, spend time with my brothers, and support the communities and charitable causes. But first, I have to ride through rain again and dreary weather. And I race past the swamp field terrain, and in the blink of an eye, I'll be pulling up to the hotel where I'll be awaiting the arrival of my brothers, who will be literally coming in from all parts of the United States. Little touch. Oh, yeah, you like that's, a, <laughs> that's, a, that's a nice little touch. I see it. Oh yeah, man. I see it. What's up, little bro? Hey, man, what's going on with it, man? Like yeah, man. Enough. We the made it. Look, yes, look, sir. Look, we the made it. I don't feel like I got enough footage over here. <laughs> oh, did he, he tripping on the footage already? <laughs> he tripping on the footage. <laughs> Them boys and came down in the rain, y'all. Doing it, my man. Bullet right there. Yeah. Yes, sir. They all here getting it. Women getting it too. She ain't playing with them. She ain't playing with them at all. That's how we got, that's what we got going on out here, man. All these brothers just pulled up from all different parts of the country. Central region meeting tomorrow is going down. We're going to fool with Next Level Motorcycle Club. We're going to flood it, take over, do our thing, you know what I'm saying? We out here. When I say out here, we out here. We had bros who came from Kansas City. They were in the snow when they left. We do rare stuff. Don't forget that. There you go. Hey. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey. Oh. It ain't breaking. It ain't breaking the metal. <laughs> Everyone would eventually get checked into their hotels and we would get ready for the first event of the weekend. Leaving the host hotel, we would take the Misty Ride over to the meet and greet hosted by Next Level Motorcycle Club. Walking into the event space with my brothers is always a cool experience. But what's even better is sharing it with everyone in attendance with plenty of familiar faces and people who will never be strangers. Many organizations were in attendance supporting and you have literally people from everywhere just hanging around, enjoying themselves, partying and dancing the night away. And as long as I can do this, I always shine a light on the positive things we do, especially with so much negativity in the world that surrounds us. We have to make it a personal mission to buck that trend and continue to spread peace, love, and joy.
and as the night flew by, it brought in a chill cooler than a polar bear's living quarters. And I had to get my bike washed because I can't stand a dirty bike, let alone a dirty hog. But the frigid temps would usher me back inside, and we would have some awesome interactions with the University of Baylor's women's softball team. We laughed and joked with each other and took the time out to get group pics of this experience. Because who would have thought bikers in the women's softball team, right? But that's what I mean, breaking the stereotypes because at the end of the day, we all just people with common goals and dreams. Later that afternoon, the brothers and I lined up in formation to ride over to Cajun Harley Davidson to check out the day party. And so we took to the streets of Lafayette with our bikes rumbling through the city. Onlookers watching as they scan out of their car windows looking at the long line of bikes. We would pull up to the spot and check out everything that was going on at the dealership, from the sound competition to the food vendors and more. Come on down to Cajun Harley Davidson. We'll take care of you while you're on the road. Make you a good deal on a bike. Take care of your bike if you have any trouble. Love to have you stop by. Yes, sir. And hey, tell them GQ sent you. <laughs> right on. The last night of the weekend will have us roll into the main event, which was Next Level's inaugural anniversary party. And after we all parked, we got ready and lined up to head into the party. And we were deeper than a diving pool at the Olympic trials. And we walked in one by one with all eyes on us like Tupac as we made our way into the space. The music was blasting and the party was definitely underway. And everything was on point and everyone was enjoying themselves. And I know for a fact that some feet and legs would be sore the next morning from the amount of dancing that had taken place. Another way, baby. Yeah. Another way or no way. And after a while, we would line up and walk through the party claiming our crown as the largest club in attendance. We came through with our brothers just to show our guys from Next Level how much we appreciate them. The daps and hugs were plentiful, and the smiles filled up the room faster than helium in a balloon. And what's understood doesn't need to be explained. And in this instance, brotherhood definitely doesn't. Shout out to y'all, man. Y'all good? I did y'all thing, man. And on this morning, it's the day where we... This morning is the day where everyone leaves and heads back to their respective destinations. We always say a quick prayer for safe travels and embrace one another until next time. The frosty air had continued to hang around and was biting at us. And I would catch up to a pack of Harleys on the highway. And we'll find out that it was some of my brothers heading back as well. And I took some time to ride in with them. Because you'll never know when the next time will be. 
And sometimes we take our ability to ride these machines for granted because at any given day, it can all be taken away. And as I head back to New Orleans, I reflect on this trip and I have just a few thoughts. One, always take the time out to love on and support your friends and family. It means more than you think. And two, don't let anybody box you in. Show them that you are much more than what they see on the surface. And three, riding a Harley brings about the biggest communities of like-minded people on the planet. Let's continue to connect and grow together. And this is your man, GQ, the leader of the peace on me, telling you guys to be safe, be cool, and most importantly, be you. And if you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Peace out.